Welcome back to High Tech Farmer, where I show the newest technologies of the oldest job. Today, we're gonna start hauling corn. We figured since we can't use a planter and start putting corn in the ground, we might as well start chipping away at our summer projects. So we're gonna start hauling corn, emptying grain. So in this bin, our big corn bin, which holds 60,000 bushels, we're now down to where we got a scoop. So the reason we got a scoop is the corn stops free falling down to the center sump with gravity. So we got to use the sweep auger to finish up everything else around from where it doesn't fall here from the wall to the floor. On these newer bins, it has what we call a power sweep. Foggers in these ones stay in the bin year round and we stack corn on top of them. So it makes it a lot easier when we're emptying them because then we don't have to tote in the sweep auger and the motor. So those are called power sweeps and that makes it a lot easier unloading bigger bins. We're having some issues getting the sweep auger to move ahead. Um, we're gonna move away a little bit of grain to see if we can see anything on the floor, see if there's anything in its way and go from there. Well, we finally got the sweep auger going. Had some issues with uh, some of the cleats on the bottom catching on the floor, so now it's going. So I'm loading some corn, get her done. This bin being 48 foot in diameter and 10 ring high, holds about 60,000 bushel. So of what we have probably left to sweep, run with the sweep auger, probably got nine, nine semi loads, and that'll probably about do it for this bin. And we'll keep on moving corn, getting into town before we empty them out before next haul. and this bend's going good. Uh, we got about four trucks out from where the sweep auger has started. If I were guessing, we probably got about six or seven truck loads left. Hopefully get that done. We got four truckers today. Uh, Leo's getting loaded right now. Dory and Denny should be back after shortly. So hopefully we can get this bend empty today so we can move on to the next one. This is supposed to be a zero entry bend, meaning that you never have to come in to actually scoop in front of the sweep auger. But the sweep auger weighs so much that you have to physically kick it ahead. That way grain keeps coming down to fill the truck. This corn that we're hauling, it's going down to Poet, down in Ashton, Iowa. It's going to an ethanol plant and it will be ground up and taking the starch out of the corn to be used in ethanol for a fuel additive inside of gasoline engines. get that done today that way we can empty this bin and start sweeping on a different one tomorrow well we got this bin empty as you can tell let go 
So now we're gonna switch over to another bend so we can keep hauling. To make it easier to keep track of all the different semi companies that come through here to haul trucks, we've gone to a different system where we create BOLs. The BOL is just basically a number we assign to the truck driver for that load. So that way we don't ever lose track of a load. So every load has a different number. So now that we're done taking out of our big bin, we're starting to take out of our 36 foot bin right here. This is a, another seven ring. Uh, I think it holds roughly 18,000, not 100% sure on that. So we just set up our big auger. This one ain't connected to the leg, so it's not as not as handy for us, but we got the big auger set up. We're hopefully gonna get one last load out of it tonight and then load up some more tomorrow. Ironically, the grain in this bend is worth about 40 to 50 cents less per bushel in comparison to the grain that we moved in my previous video. And that's just because the price of grain trades every weekday and it moves up and down depending on supply and demand factors in the world economy. The corn in this bend we're scooping now, it's like 60 pound test weight. Really heavy corn, which is what you want. It also helps put some meat on the bone. We thought we were done for the day, just about to button up, but looks like one more truck didn't get the message, so we got one more truck to fill. Get him on his way. Uh, this one's, this bend's a little bit more of a pain since it doesn't have the automatic sweep, so we're right at that load right before the automatic sweep, so we'll do that now. As you can see, this bend has one sump there, and one here, and none in between, so it makes it a lot bigger hassle. We have to scoop out everything from here to the door, that way we can get the sweep auger in here so we can clean out the rest of the bin. Well, the last truck right here, Leo, is leaving right now. We finished up in that other big corn bin earlier today. Got down to the sweep auger here in this 36 foot bin. So hopefully get the sweep auger going in there tomorrow. Get that swept up, switch the auger over to a different bin. In the meantime, thanks so much everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next one.